okay sometime we might need to create our own data set by manually entering the latitude and longitude information so in that case how to do that so in this particular video i am going to do the same thing using shapely library so first of all i'll create the point line and polygon features and then i'll assign it as the coordinate system and then i'll uh, load it into the geodata frame after that i'll export it as the output as geojson okay so let's get started so for that actually we need the safely library yes it's a p e l y dot geometry and then i want to import the polygon line string and then point feature like this so after that if i want the point let's suppose the point has p1 and then uh, i want the point and then i can enter the latitude longitude here okay now we can enter the longitude and latitude uh, information so for me i am taking like random latitude and longitude maybe like uh, 85 and then the latitude will be the 30 so if i print out p1 then it will print out the point like this so but if i try it with the like print statement so it will actually output the uh, point in the string form so similarly i can create the p2 as point and then might be 80 and 25 and then uh, for line uh, maybe l1 and then line string i can type the line string and then line string maybe from point okay mm, maybe like p1 and p2 and p2 like this okay so after that uh, i also want to create the polygon p o l y one and then polygon will be the polygon and then uh, i can assign the coordinates inside uh, this polygon feature so coordinate might be like uh, might be like uh, 20 and then uh, not maybe 82 and then 25 and then and the coordinate will be the uh, 83 and then 26 and then and the might be like 82 and then mm, might be 23 okay and if i try to output the polygon one then it will look like this this shape right using three points so by default it will connect the first and last edge if we define it as the polygon so similarly if you want to output the line string then line string will be look like this so in this way you can create the point line and polygon features so for outputting this as the data frame so you might need to create the geo series so for that maybe i can uh, like assign the name a name is df safely and then what i can do is i can uh, like create the new geo series so geo series and then i can add my point in lines inside which uh, like this uh, l1 and then p o l y 1 like this right so now if i type the df safely p e l y then i'll get the geo series like this which is the indexed list also it's known as indexed list it's like the list but uh, with some index like 0 1 2 3 like this so now what i want to do is maybe i can write it uh, geo series safely it's not the data frame because it's the geo series and then for the D, df means data frame uh, i can write uh, the gpd dot uh, geo data frame i can manually create the geo data frame and then i have to pass the geo series 
Geo series safely, right? So uh, if I type Geo DF safely, I will get the output like this, right? So I have this geometries and then I have this index, but you can see the column name for geometry is zero by default. But uh, I have to change this coordinate. So for changing, not not coordinate. Uh, actually, I have to change this column name. So for changing the column name, actually what I can do is I can uh, like uh, I can assign the column names. If I write df simply dot columns. Uh, then I can assign the column name, right? Okay, so if I run it again, so I'll get the uh, my data set with the geometry column. And also one last thing, I have to assign the coordinate system because uh, without coordinate system, invalid coordinate system, the point and line feature, we don't know what it uh, where it represent on the world. So that's why I am going to. Uh, add the CRS. So for CRS, actually, I am going to take the EPSG, and then it will be four three two six. That means the WGS eighty four coordinate system. If I run it, it looks like the same, but it has now this geo data frame has now coordinate system four three two six. So after that, if you like uh, try to uh, visualize it so maybe df dot safely dot um, plot sorry uh, not df dot df dash safely and now you can see the two points and one line string passing through point and then the polygon feature so you can see the longitude uh, varies from 80 to like 85 degree i think and then latitude varies from uh, this 23 to 30 some something like this so uh, yeah in this way you can simply create the your ge geo data frame and then also you can export it as the output like uh, if you want to export it as the uh, like the default shape file it won't work because it has the multi geometry by default shape file cannot hold the multi geometry so let's let's uh, let me show you what i mean so if i try to export it so by simply dot ssp then it will throw an error so geo data frame object is not callable sorry dot sorry 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 i i forgot to write the dot to file to file like this okay so this is the error so gdal error attempt to write non point line line string geometry to point shape file that means we cannot write the uh, multiple geometry within a same shape file so what now what i can do is i can store it inside the geo uh, json file so i can write it geo json and then i can assign the driver equal to geo json like this so if i run it i will get the output so where is my simply okay simply dot geo json maybe i need to refresh it so here is the simply.geojson file but this you can see this uh, simply.ssp also available but this is the cropped one so if you try to visualize it it won't work but this one is the right data so if you want to output it as the shape file then what you can do is you can only assign the same kind of geometry that means p1 and p2 only because p1 and p2 both are points so now if you plot it so it will look like two points and then if you want to save file format so you can write ssp and then remove this driver okay now uh, we have this safely dot ssp file now it should work because it has the two valid geometry so yeah i think uh, that's all about the working with geometries so i hope you enjoyed it
I'll see you in the next.